Hey guys, it's Taylor here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how to export our properly scaled objects from Cura as a 3MF file so that we can submit them to the 3D printing computer. So in the last video, we looked at importing objects and scaling them correctly. And we can see that my three pieces here are underneath the one hour or the two hour time limit. We're at an hour and 59 minutes and we're under the six meter limit on filament. We're at 2.89 meters. So this file is ready to be saved for export. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to file and I'm going to click save as and I'm going to title this file with my last name an underscore, my class period. We'll use period one as an example. And that's uh, the information that I need. You can see that the save type, it's selected as a 3MF file. And I'll show you what that does in just a moment. And then I'm going to click save. Now that that file has been saved, if I close down my Cura window, and then I reopen it, I want to show you what happens when I load that 3MF file into Cura now that it's been saved that way. So with my Cura software open, I can now click on open file and I can locate my 3MF file that I just saved. And when I open it, it's going to bring in all three parts and they're going to be scaled correctly to meet the time and filament requirements for this project. Saving as a 3MF file saves all of the size and setting information from your previous work. So we don't want to submit our STL files because that's not going to remember how we scaled our objects um, to meet these requirements. It's very important that you save all of your parts as a 3MF. And now you can see that all three of my parts are here. They've been scaled down um, to 92% and that's visible right here. It remembers that I changed my profile to standard and I meet my time requirements. So that's the reason why we save as a 3MF file. This is the file that you are going to now submit to our Google form that will send it over to our 3D printing computer. So let's take a look at that now. So back in our Google Classroom, underneath the same category as our 3D printing assembly assignment, we have our 3D print file transfer. And if I click on that, it gives me access to this Google form. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my last name, my first name. What class is this for? EE for engineering explorations. What type of file is it? We are using a 3MF for this. If you have any special instructions, you can add those. Um, you shouldn't have any because you've already done all of the work. And then I'm going to attach a file. So when I click add file, I can select files from my device. So I'm going to open up my downloads folder and Taylor period one, here's my 3MF file. I'm just going to drag that over here and push upload. And now when I submit this, it's going to load this file into a Google Sheet that's accessible from our 3D print computer. That way we can download the file onto the 3D print computer, load it into Cura, and start the print on one of our 3D printers. So I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. And that is all we need to do to get our files transferred to the 3D print computer. In the next video, I'll show you how to download the file from the Google Sheet on the 3D print computer and get it loaded into Cura for printing.